I always say like that song, I had to let it come to me or us, yeah. you know, rather than trying to force it. But it was weird. Nobody talked about like, what's the album going to be called? Like that was just the answer. It became the album. It became the energy. And then just this image, if you will, of like my first ever album. Dark Horse was the last song on this record that I wrote. And actually it wrote, it was, we wrote it after the record was done. Because I remember, like, I had been in the studio for two months with Jay, like, right up the street. And then you had this crazy idea to have, like, a little in-town, like, writing retreat, which was, like, your brainchild, right? Like, yeah, man. Which, you know, we got, what do we do? Like, hold up for, like, three days? Three days, right, yeah. Three days, cleared our schedule, just yeah. 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., let's yeah. see what happens. We had written, a, a, like, a great song in the beginning, and this was, like, the second day. And we were, like, already, already in that vibe and just that, like, really calm energy. And um, I forget how it like kind of really came about. Like you started playing that riff, and I think you had the title Black Horse originally, right? Yeah, because I thought you were gonna be like Outlaw Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, you always were all black. Yeah, I wanted to rise the Black Horse. Yeah. That's yeah. the idea, right? Yeah. And then we were yeah. like, I wonder if it's like you know, if it's Dark Horse, you know? And it's crazy that like obviously there's been other songs, whether it's you know George Harrison or. Katy Perry or whatever, yeah. but like it didn't matter, like we were going to no. do it our way, you know. And that was one of those songs that was just the perfect collaboration. Mm -hmm. I feel like we each had little bits and pieces and like tweaked each other's ideas and mm -hmm. it turned into this whirlwind. There were a bunch of happy accidents on that song too. Oh yeah. Like changing the title. We also changed the key. Right. And when we changed the key, the melody changed. I screwed up the guitar part because I think it was screwed in, up. yeah, but it became the new how it switched the, the guitar riff because yeah. it changed the vocal. And the melody different. of the verse changed too because we, we couldn't were in a figure it out spot, forever. But we just yeah. let it be what it wanted to be. Exactly. You know? For writing such a vulnerable personal song. Like it was almost this selfish thing that I just like wanted to write it for myself or wanted I wanted us to write it for me. And it's become this like really relatable song for other people. Like they're they'll post the lyrics and say, like, that's me. You know, and it's cool for me to just speak so truly about who I am and what I believe in and then have other people like accept it as their own, I guess. Um, I think that's the totally story of being an artist, right? Totally, man. Yeah. And maybe that's just one of those things that only could have happened when it did. Literally. Like, yeah. the, y your album was technically finished at that point. You had kind of like finished this arduous process of mm -hmm. writing and recording for months and years mm -hmm. and everything before that. And then finally it's like, all right, we got it done. Now let's Pressure's write. Off. Let's, let's write without, happens. with no weight, and see what happens. It was one of my favorite days, and then it became like the title of the whole album. You know, like yeah. it's yeah. funny we didn't even. No one talked about it. No one ever. Like I didn't have that bracketed feeling of having a full record until we wrote this song, and I knew like, okay, now I feel like it's done. You know, like because that was literally the last song we wrote, and it's the last song on the album. You know, and it yeah. just feels like we close our show with it and everything. It just feels like oh, this capstone. bracketed. Yeah, yeah, perfect, right? Thank you guys for riding with me. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, brother. Cheers, guys. One, two, one, two. People always ask why we're black. Where'd I get my style and why I never smile in pictures? They ask me what I drink, I'll sip on anything But I'm a little more California smoke than liquor I know it ain't that I'm self-conscious I'm just conscious of myself I side with the outsiders Those long shot last round fighters Anyone who ain't afraid to stay off course My heart bleeds for country music Where the honest outlaw truth is No, I ain't no white knight I'm a little more Dark horse No, I don't go to church, can't quote a Bible verse I couldn't sing a song that don't mean that I don't talk to Jesus Girls say I push them off, that I can't open up But I ain't afraid of love when
when I said I just want to mean it Yeah, I side with the outsiders Those long shot last round fighters Anyone who ain't afraid to stray off course My heart bleeds for country music Where the honest outlaw truth is No, I ain't no white knight I'm a little more dark horse Oh yeah Dark horse No, it ain't that I'm self-conscious I'm just conscious of myself And I don't know how to be nobody else No Ooh, yeah So I side with the outsiders Those long shot last round fighters Anyone who ain't afraid to stray off course my heart bleeds for country music Where my honest outlaw truth is No, I ain't no white knight I'm a little more mm, dark horse Oh yeah mm, dark horse Dark horse I'm